Hello, good time of the day. Um, we got an interesting question today that I want to address in our break between uh, patient sessions. The question is, can I um, improve my arthritis and pain as well as general health by changing my gut bacteria, what is called microbiome? It's related to prebiotics, probiotics, and some other interesting uh, concepts that we're going to discuss today. Okay. My name is John Matthews. I'm a patient of Dr. Uh, Mark Golan. I've been coming here for a couple of months. My I've had pain so bad in the past that I've been unable to perform basic activities. My quality of life has went down, especially with my daughter, who uh, always wants me to go somewhere with her. But uh, it's moved up considerably since then. And some of the most important things that I've improved that has improved. And so I de definitely recommend Dr. Moldoli's treatment to everybody. I get steroid shots. They help me for half, about half in between the visits, maybe half the time and I feel better than I normally ever do. Dr. Magerlin is, is my doctor for pain and I'm 88 years old and he's been taking good care of me and uh, I recommend him if you need a pain doctor. Hi, my name is Angie and I've been coming here since 2011 and I've had a lot of back pain but since I've been coming here, it's been controlled and I'm very happy and pleased with the coming to this doctor. My name is Barbara Banks and I've been coming to Dr. Leon for two years and he's been working with me with my pain and my pain has eased up a lot and I thank him very much. Hi, my name is Tammy Franklin. I am a patient with Dr. McGolian. He gave me my injections for my knees and since then I was able to do more on my exercise and rehabilitation. I'm actually now on the treadmill for 20 minutes, the bike for 20 minutes. I'm doing 10 sets of squats. It works excellent. My name is John Fluellen. I come here almost two years, but I like it. I like the doctor service. I'm satisfied. I'm happy. Uh, in the first part of this video, I would like to explain very briefly what a microbiome is, why is it important, why this question is um, important for everyone, and especially with people uh, with chronic pain. Well, um, interestingly, recently we discovered that in our gut, we have about three to 10 times more cells, which are bacterial cells, yeast cells, uh, maybe some kind of creatures called archaea, but we're just keeping it simple. But let's talk about bacteria and uh, yeast cells that populate our gut. And uh, first of all, it's a huge number. It's about if we have about 23 roughly trillion cells, uh, there are three times more, 60 or more than 100 trillion uh, cells in our body. And they not just populate our gut, they help us to digest food. They have a very strong impact on our immune system, on our weight control, and some other functions as I'm going to discuss. Um, when we eat um, healthy food, we feed healthy bacteria that have a healthy impact on our body. When we eat junk food, especially sugary food, um, we feed unhealthy bacteria and yeast, notably candida and some other unhealthy bacteria that secrete, this is the theory, they secrete uh, some uh, substances, including neurotransmitters that encourage us to eat more. Um, there were experiments, for example, you may have heard about something called fecal transplant, which transfers bacteria and fecal substances from one person to another to treat some bacterial conditions like clostridium deficiently, like very sick people. So interestingly, some of these people gained weight because they got bacteria. 
Um, there are experiments in mice that you can create genetically identical mice that grown up in sterile environment. They have no bacteria in their gut. First, without this, this uh, microbiome, the mice uh, is sick. They're not very healthy. Secondly, when you populate it with different types of bacteria, it has impact on their behavior and uh, um, weight gain and lifespan, even though they're genetically identical. So there are more, and, and there are some other experiments. So basically there are more and more suggestions uh, that um, yes, your gut bacteria has have an impact on uh, your health, on your weight, on your immune status and people with autoimmune diseases, we all just name a few, diabetes type two, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, um, uh, many others, connective tissue disease, scleroderma, um, they, and maybe general inflammation in your body is impacted by this bacteria. So theoretically, yeah, yeah, they have an impact. The thing is, what can, what can you do about it? Specifically, the person asks, so do I need to buy those ex expensive capsules with probiotics and take them every day? Is that going to make a difference? So, um, uh, let's, um, discuss it a little bit more in the last um, part of this video. All right, so in the last part of this video, we're going to talk about uh, how microbiome can help us decrease inflammation in, art in arthritis. Uh, the question was asked about something like that, the, probi the probiotics, which are pretty expensive. They do contain uh, good bacteria, they say it should contain multiple strains like those two. I just picked them up randomly. Uh, better to pick up those that do not require refrigeration, meaning they're more resistant um, and viable. Maybe um, certain capsules or formulations that help them to get through the stomach are also better. But the question is, can they really make a difference? We said that your body has about between uh, 60 to more than 100 trillion bacterial cells. So you're taking this as like 20 billion, 50 billion, maximum 90 billion uh, bacterial cultures. It's a very small amount. If you take them accidentally without changing your diet, I don't think they really make a huge difference. They may, primarily if you take unhealthy foods and you want to take some probiotics, I'm not sure how much difference it makes. The real a game changer in uh, changing microbiome is understanding that um, there are three types of substances. There is something called prebiotics, probiotics, and postbiotics. Um, well, the, the prebiotics are most important uh, substances. They're not, they're actually very simple, very simple type of foods and substances. I just uh, uh, brought up some here. Uh, Bobby sauerkraut, right? Fermented pickles, psyllium husk, uh, uh, acacia fiber. There is a saccharide called bifida boost. I don't have commercial interest, but there are many others. They're not expensive and they should come with whole plant-based food. When you change your diet, you really change your microbiome. It's like if, um, you move from Arctic area where it's cold and uh, you know, there are only certain types of animals and plants to let's say rainforest. Obviously the creatures that live in the rainforest would be different than the creatures that live in the Arctic area. So if you eat junk food, your bacteria are different than if you eat healthy plant-based food and pro and fiber, right? Fiber you can digest it, but your bacteria can. So prebiotic is the game changer. I put this arrow here. It's under your control. It's not expensive. It's not those capsules. It's, it's the food. Probiotics we discussed, these are the capsules. And postbiotic is what bacteria secrete. You have no control over it. They secrete neurotransmitters like, uh, like GABA, serotonin, and others. Maybe they have a big impact on your immune system. And that basically does have impact on the inflammation, on the status of your immune system. Maybe it has impact on autoimmune diseases, and maybe it can have impact on arthritis. Now, remember you have no control over this, you have limited control over that, you have control over prebiotic, prebiotic, healthy food, um, fermented food, um, fiber, and so on. 
Now, here's the point. It can help you with your pain. It can help you with your arthritis from multiple mechanisms, inflammation, weight change, immune modulation. However, it doesn't happen overnight. You need to stick to the healthy diet and prebiotics um, as an estimate three to six months, I would say closer to six months. So if it's not expensive, it takes some discipline, it can work, it's not quick fix approach. Uh, I, in my experience, it can be used in addition to other methods that we discussed in prior videos. Look at our video about sugar types of food, uh, turmeric and so on. It's a great question and I think it's one of the strategies uh, that are not expensive, um, that are fairly safe. I would say obviously if you have gastrointestinal condition like diverticulitis and maybe some others, you need to talk to your provider. Uh, everything I said is general medical knowledge. In every specific case, you need to talk to your healthcare provider. But overall, it's a good question. It's a good approach. Thank you.